Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be making a Sui Lalo guide. That is right, we're going to be covering Sui Lalo, not using Super Wizard. So no Blizzard here today. We're going to try to be breaking that down. And we're going to be using the Dragon, most likely in the case with the Stone Slammer up top. But notice my spells, what I got. I got a Lightning, I got more Freezes, I want, got one Invisibility, I got three Haste. So a lot of this stuff can be used as kind of what you like. You can really start to fine tune and adjust this type of army. But this is what I take lightning just in case in an army, a base that I don't know what is in the CC. So I'm just assuming there's headhunters and that's what that lightning is for. But I'm going to go through examples to walk you through exactly when I would do Sui Lalo not using the Blizzard. So if you guys haven't checked out the previous Lalo guide that I made not too long ago, I talked about Blizzard and kind of the different levels. And so what I talked about in that guide, I was like, all right, well, number one, the easiest one that you start out with is the Blizzard, right? Blizzard Lalo, that's number one. Number, so that's where you want to start. If you're really trying to learn Lalo, Blizzard Lalo is great because the Blizzard portion with that blimp and Super Wizards can get so much value. But I know a lot of you guys said, Carmen, why well, I don't get Super Wizards donated to me? Well, maybe you need a new clan. Maybe if you guys don't have too many Super Wizards, I don't know, I'm just saying. But number two is going to be this. This is going to be the Sui Lalo with, with a, pretty much the Stone Slammer. And that has five loons and a dragon, right? So that's what's going to be in level two. Level three, we could cover basically maybe in another video, is going to be the Sui Lalo with the skeleton. The skeleton spell right there. And yes, the Queen Charge Lalo can be mixed in, but I'm not going to be covering Queen Charge Lalo because I'm not too good at Queen Charge. This is where I am best at is with the Sui portion of the types of attacks. All right, now that we got that, so we're in, we're in kind of step two. Definitely go check out the other one if you want to see the Blizzard portion. But let's go ahead and draw it up again. So... Here we go we've got the base like this right so we got a base that's like this so we're getting back to our other analogy which i covered a lot in the previous one whereas you're thinking about it like a clock right think about the base as a circle and what you want to end up doing if i could actually draw a little bit better you, you, you know you know i'm just gonna get totally rid of it let's say a base is a circle here you know maybe that would be a little bit easier to see all right we got the circle Right, and let's say instead of the blimp going in to take out a circle, a portion of the circle like you saw in the other video, which I've talked about, what this is going to be is your heroes are going to be this portion. So your heroes are going to move in and take out the portion of the base, right? And so now the question is, Carbon, what portion do I take out? It's a really good question because it's really hard to see abstract here when you're thinking about it with these types of heroes because you don't know what you're going for, right? Well, let's just say we're just going to throw the heroes down on this side of the base. I, we don't care where the town hall is. We don't care where that stuff is right now because we're going to just cover kind of before what we talked about is the heroes take out that value. And then we use the Lalo to come in on the, either this side or this side, right? They're going to come in from the edge of where your hero set. So, so you see this is the edge right here from that or that's the edge. So the Lalo's got to come in from that side. So whichever way you come in is what you're going to have to identify. So let's say we come in this way, right? Think about it like a river flowing like this as it's flowing through. The next part of Lalo comes through, comes through like this. Boom, 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 boom. As, as we make our way through. And now the Stone Slammer can be also used to either move into this portion with the Lalo, either this portion or the back end portion. Now the question is, when do you use that Stone Slammer? When do you use the Headhunters? Well, but let's think about the army, right? So in an army that you have down here at the bottom, uh, let's go and see if you can see this. There it is. So at the bottom, you have your army, right? Blah, blah, blah. Your army's at the bottom of your screen. So in your army, what you're going to have is loons, lava hound, blah, blah, blah. But then you'll have a stone slammer. That'll be like right here. And then in there as well, you're going to have some headhunters, right? So your headhunters, let's say, are right there next to the stone slammer. Whatever. It's, it's good enough. And so into this base here, if we go back, let's say we've got a base like this, right? And so now what you have to think about is, all right, well, the red is the headhunters. So you have to know where the king and queen, or not the king, where the queen and royal champion are located on the base. So let's say the queen is right here, flop, right there. And the royal champion is over here, okay? Something like that. They're on opposite sides. So what you could do is you could send your heroes... I'll get through examples, which would be a little bit easier to see. You can send your heroes in to take out like this section. But now what happens is you have the royal champion 
and the queen still up. Your heroes didn't take care of either one of them. So that means that your headhunters have to be responsible for either the queen or the royal champion. It won't be for both. Unless they're right next to each other, don't ever plan for your headhunters to take out both of them. So you only have your headhunters to take out either the queen or the RC like that, right? So let's say the headhunters go for the queen. That means that the stone slammer will have to go for the royal champion. So let's say you start the Lalo in this way. So if, let's say the Lalo comes through like this. The Lalo comes this way, boom, 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 boom. Okay, and then you're gonna drop the headhunters in with the Lalo. They're gonna go in here, which means your Grand Warden most likely is gonna pop his ability with this to protect those headhunters as you move your way through. So let's say the Lalo is continuing around, continuing around. Then the Stone Slammer is going to get dropped over here. And then the Dragon is going to be responsible for taking out the Royal Champion, right? So, but let's say you do it to where, okay, well, I'm not going to use the Headhunters here. I'm going to use the Stone Slammer onto here with the initial Lalo. And then the Dragon pops, kills the Queen. Then you can save your Warden ability as you fly around this way. And then the Headhunters can then get dropped in this way to go for the RC. And then you pop that Warden ability. Right, so you have to think about the headhunters going for one and then the stone slammer with the dragon going for another. Let's get into some examples. So let's go and first start off with a circle, at least as close as I can possibly get. So in the circle, we're going to identify some things. The royal champion, she's right here, and the queen. So we have to use the dragon and the headhunters to kill both of them. So let's say if we drop the headhunters to go for the royal champ, that means the dragon has to be responsible for killing the queen inside of the stone slammer. Let's say the headhunters kill the queen, then the dragon's responsible for the royal champion. But let's say you sui and send your heroes in towards here and you take out the queen. Let's say in your hero push, you kill off one of them, which means then you don't need to use a dragon in a stone slammer anymore. You can take headhunters to go for the royal champ, but then you can send a blimp and sneaky goblins or something for the town hall if you really want, right? So that's really where you want to identify where you want to sui. Usually a lot of good places to sui is either into the town hall or the eagle. Those are some great spots because if the eagle is down, you don't have to worry about it. You can lalo a lot easier through the base. You have to take into account where the sweepers are, right? So let's say we were to sui in towards this eagle, right? We're going for the eagle, which means we're keeping both of those heroes up. We're keeping the town hall up as well. So where are the air defenses? So if we were to sui into the eagle and take this air defense down, take all this down, we would probably also want to send the royal champion in to try to take out this scatter shot. So if we can sui our way into here, take this down, then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to lalo our way into the air defense and across the base. Big issue is this multi-target in the middle, all right? That's going to be a huge issue. But if we were to drop a stone slammer through here, maybe a few balloons to test for some traps, and the stone slammer will go in here. Why? Because the air defense is not protecting any balloons that go into this wizard tower. So if a stone slammer flies in, it's kind of acting like as its own lava hound. Then it could fly around to here, go to here. If the balloons can make their way, activate the town hall, take it down, then the stone slammer can make its path through here, and then it could go for the middle of the base as the lalo flies across the base up here. So then the dragon will end up getting into here. You can drop a rage on it, and then hopefully you can freeze this area, the queen, to help kill it kill one of them off so let's go ahead and try this and more examples obviously the better so let's go ahead and start with a potential yeti right here and we want the yeti to kind of take out the arch tower and we're going to create a funnel on both sides to get our king and queen exactly where we want to go so there's the yeti and we're going to drop the king onto the mortar so he's going to run in drop a balloon baby dragon here the yeti takes out the arch tower very nice okay so king's going to make his way across Baby is going to go like that. I'm going to drop an ice golem, a queen, um, a super wall break there, and then another super wall break here. So that's going to go and open up these compartments. Baby dragon did some nice work. And let's go ahead and poison the CC super minions. Let's go ahead and pop that king ability and lightning the headhunters and send the royal champion into here. So that is why lightning is super nice. And we do have an invisibility spell, right, for the royal champ. As she's going to go down here. Hopefully she can make her way to the to this next. Queen's ability goes off. RC is trying to take out the scatter. We're going to pop her ability. Boom. Skips. Takes that all down. Very nice. We can drop a balloon onto this. And some minions to start to clean up. Edges, edge of the stuff. So you see these balloons will start to come in here. And now what we can do is send the Lalo to fly across the base like this, right? So we can go ahead and get a minion as well into here. So now we can get a balloon like this with a stone slammer. More minions are cleaning up. So it's going to move its way into here. Drop a hound. Boom. 
boom, another hound like this. Drop a Grand Warden. We got seven loons. We got some minions for cleanup. 42%. We're pushing our way in. The town hall is frozen. Let's go ahead and drop some headhunters. Drop the Warden ability. Drop another hound here. Another minion. Another, another one of you. Drop a rage into the core. And freeze all of this. Right? The dragon should be able to hopefully take down the queen. Let's freeze the, this whole top side. Dragon is actually making its way over to the royal champion as well and help take that down. Now you see how many spells I have left over. I have two of these spells. Right? I have two freezes still left over. That stone slammer was able to push its way into the core and get all that value. And the headhunters, I think they may have gotten slowed down by the town hall explosion with that warden ability. But um, if that dragon can make it to the core, you can get so much value. And that's, we'll be breaking more bases down, but that's kind of the thought process that you want to have for these types of Sui Lalos. We've got another base that's right here. And we're going to take a look by drawing, let's say, a circle right here. And now we have to identify where those heroes are, right? So we've got the queen that is right here in the middle. And then we got a royal champion right there. So what we want to try to do is focus on taking out the royal champion and the queen which we could use a headhunter and or the dragon for. But if we take out one of them with our heroes, then we can switch it up. We can send maybe a sneaky goblin for the town hall, right? Because that's where the headhunters and dragons, what they're meant for. But what are we going to be taking here? I've got two lightning and an earthquake here. Why? Why am I taking that? Well, what I'm trying to focus on is take out the eagle or the town hall, usually with the heroes, that because that can be some great value. You either If you don't take out either one of those, you're going to have to focus the Lalo in either for the town hall or for the for the eagle if you don't take out the royal champ the queen the eagle or the town hall it's over because you're gonna have to have the dragon for the one of the heroes you're gonna have the headhunters you're gonna have to pop the warn ability over the town hall to protect you can't your heroes either have to go for the town hall the eagle or or either like both of them one of them with one of these defenses but what we're gonna try to do is take out this eagle artillery with our heroes which means we're gonna try to set a funnel we can use the earthquake lightning to take out the single and then we can set up a funnel to try to get our heroes to go straight in toward this eagle. Try to like wall break this area here. Get the kin to go down like balloon uh, minion yeti down here to create a funnel. Baby dragon like this. Get our heroes down to try to take this eagle down. And then we can lolo our way right through this way over the town hall. Yeah, there's a sweeper here, but we really don't have a choice. We could take some extra lightnings to take that down so we don't get pushed back. But notice where the air defense is here. Air defense is here, which means... This whole area is not protected by an air defense, so a stone slammer would be ideal in this location so that the dragon can take down the royal champ. So let's give this a shot, right? So let's go ahead and drop a balloon, a baby dragon. I know a lot of this stuff is like carbon. This is like this is way too difficult. It's that there's a reason why it's way too difficult, because it's really hard attack to perform. So you have to keep that in mind. You just can't be like, oh. I, I was like, after one month of trying this, I, I'm a pro now. I'll be able to do it. No, the answer is it will take you a lot longer than one month. It, literally, if I were to put it on a scale, I think Lalo would take about two years. And then you're like, oh, uh, that's way too long. I've been playing this game for six years. And so it's a lot and a lot of practice. And that's just how it is. Super wall break, where are you going? I right, said so super wall breaker is acting crazy here. It's going all the way like that. Let's drop another super wall break. Okay, there we go. He's going to open this wall here. The king's got his ability, right? So he's going to move his way in. Let's go and pop that king ability. Bam, the queen's going to walk her way in. This is where we got our poison spell. Let's go and drop it onto these super minions. We got headhunters, lightning, bam. Oh, the headhunter did not die. Why did it not die? Because of the Grand Warden platform, right? So the king's trying to take out. Bam, the eagle goes down. We take the queen down, and that's looking good. So we got some nice value there. That all cuts across. And we killed off the CC with a point. No, we didn't. Okay, never mind. Let's drop a, some balloons here with a stone slammer. Drop some minions for cleanup. So that's going to move its way through. And then we're going to go ahead and drop one, two, three. Some of you across like that. So the queen's dead. And now we can go ahead and drop some headhunters. A lava hound like this. So it's going to be it's going to be like that. Grand Warden. More minions. And then the next town. Let's fly up top into here as well. And we got some more balloons. That's going to cut across. All right, so this, the queen, so the royal champ's dead. So all the heroes that we have to worry about are dead. Um, so 48%. So we just have to keep our eye on that town hall area. So 49, 50%. Uh, town hall should activate. 
go and drop a raid right over the town hall. Pop that Grand War internal tome. Drop another hound right through here. Some balloons, a minion. So now we're going to be pushing our way. Town hall went down with a combination of rage. Now we're going to go ahead and drop a freeze onto this multi. Drop it under the cannon to try to keep this pathing right through. Drop another freeze. As we are pushing our way in, we can drop a haste right through here. We can freeze this area. Drop an archer. And you can kind of see how everything's starting to come together here with that Lalo, right? Because our heroes were able to take down the eagle, that's what you want to focus on. Focus on trying to take down one of the eagle town hall or combination of eagle town hall with one of the heroes. You really want to do that. Otherwise, it's going to be way too difficult to really take out the rest of the base and you just won't have the push to go through. I'll give it a shot in Legends League as well. You can see me try to break it down live. But this is kind of the thought process that I go through taking out a section and then lolloing around, right? A lot riskier when you leave the town hall, you have the ward ability through, you have to hopefully get percentage, but you start to see how it comes together. Let's go ahead and jump into Legends now. We've got the one lightning this time instead of the two, because obviously that I was able to plan on it and draw it up. But this is Legends. We're at about 5,000, so we're not even that, we're not high at all. But we're just going to hit it, and we're going to try to break this down live. And another one of these types of bases. This is supposed to be very hard, according to this clan name. Um, all right, so what do we see? We see a queen, a royal champ, all on the top side. It's one of these bases here. The sweeper is pointing here. Sweeper is pointing down here. So we're going to have to deal with that CC. There's a bunch of air expos, archer towers, all in one area. Um, can we get and sweep into the town hall is the true question. I'm thinking if we go with an ice golem right about here with some headhunters, try to take out the royal champ. Can we do it? We pull some goblins. Royal champ's dead. Okay. So we pulled out some more goblins. A super wall break into here. And we got some headhunters and this. So let's go with the uh, yeti, the king, some balloons, the queen. Let's go poison spell. And let's go lightning right on top of here. All right. So let's go king ability. A super wall break into here. So that should hopefully help take a bunch of that down. Now we can go with... King's taking this down. Let's go ahead and drop invisibility. Okay. Protect that queen. Let's go through here. Let's go like this. Let's go headhunter onto you. All right, queen. What are you going to go for? Go into the town hall, queen. Go into the... Or don't. Fine. Don't go to the town hall. But let's see if you can reach it. Pop the RC ability. Skips through here. Scatter goes down. And now we're going to try to take this town hall down as well. Double skeletons pop. Queen, go for the town hall, please. Go for the town hall. Let's go ahead and drop another freeze onto this, onto here. The queen can go for the single and then go for the town hall next. She should be able to reach it. We're investing a bunch of freezes. No! She doesn't want it! She doesn't want the town hall. Alright, so the sweepers are down. So we're just going to lolo around and send the stone slammer after the fact for the town hall. Because our heroes just say, hey, you know, Carbon, sometimes you just, you just don't want... Just don't want it. So we're just going to have to do after the fact and deal with it then. So let's go and drop a hound down here. Boom. We're dropping some hounds across the base. We're going to drop this. Let's go ahead and drop some freezes. So as we're going to be pushing around, we're going to be going like that. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay, we're safe. Moving our way through. Let's go ahead and drop some haste down here. We already invested a bunch of freeze spells. Drop the stone slammer. Oh, there's a red air bomb. All right, we're going to go like that. Warden's ability is going to be used about here. Boom. Pop the ability. Drop a rage for the balloons over the town hall. Drop some minions. Town hall goes down. Dragon's cleaning up. We got Tesla in the corner. Drop some minions over here. And so the issue was our queen was like, no, we did not want to take that town hall down, but they're going to have to backtrack all the way to that, to that Tesla. But you can see what we tried to do. We we're still able to do it. We saved the stone slammer, and that's why having a stone slammer, which you can send for a blimp, can be uh, basically using it as a last resort, right? We were able to get the Sui Valley around. We were able to pop that Warren ability to push it around. I'll still do some examples more in Legends, but that is kind of the thought process here. I was able to just pick off a hero right away, so then I could just use the Stone Slammer wherever I wanted since both those heroes did go down. We're in the next raid, which we're going to try to break down this guy. So this one, we have an Eagle that's all the way in the middle of the base, Town Hall is next to the CC. So we think about it like a circle. We have a sweeper that's pointing here, sweeper that's pointing here. If we were to cut out a section of the base that's like, let's say this section, we would then have to lolo our way through the base like this. Could work. Queen's up top. 
most likely we're going to want to instead take out this section up top go like this and then lalo our way to the top side so that headhunters can run and take out the queen if we come from this side headhunters would lock on to the king so let's just go ahead and drop like some things here okay so it looks like we got a hole on tesla farm right about there okay so that's good to know so if we can try to get this king here so he runs like that all right we're gonna get the queen to go here king's gonna go like this let's just drop a super wall break see where it goes we got two of them so we can go and drop ice golem and some balloons like this drop a minion and then hopefully that'll help set up a bit of a funnel drop another super wall break helps get the king to go in and then we can probably actually drop a royal champ down here as well pop that king ability take out the royal champ take out the enemy royal champion and we get all that so we got some nice value royal champs clear on this bottom side and i do have a lightning spell for the cc queen's gonna burn her ability and we're gonna burn the queen ability here I didn't pull out the cc yet my royal champ finally makes it into this middle section let's go and drop invisibility spell she makes it to the archer tower boom 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 we got oh, a yeti cc let's pop the ability skips takes out the single target inferno takes all that down okay so that's that's cleared now we gonna now we can fly our way through the through there which we can drop a stone slammer to try to go for the uh let's see where the stone slammer okay so we dropped the balloon there so stone slammer should go into the sweeper so that's good because now we can use headhunters for the queen we can use the stone slammer wherever we like so we're now going to fly across here drop the grand warden drop some a view and so we're going to drop another hound right here boom gonna be like that and drop some drop some uh headhunters to fly across we're going to go and freeze this town hall we're going to go ahead and poison oh the queen's dead okay let's go and rage freeze this area again oh we popped it right on top of there let's go and freeze you and we're going to pop the warren ability to protect it over the top of the town hall which goes down and then we're going to go and freeze haste we're going to push our way through warren ability is still protecting we're going to go freeze this again come on balloons push your way through this bottom side we're going to freeze this uh wizard tower balloons are pushing their way through oh wait we got another hound let's drop it down here i don't even see i didn't even see i had another hound here oh my goodness and how it's gonna tank like that <laughs> well if i was only paying attention that i had an extra hound that would have uh probably helped definitely for sure uh let's drop a minion here for cleanup and now this is gonna fly over there we can probably drop the lightning onto this right there boom onto the, the yeti mites and let's drop it down here dragon goes through and should be able to get it so I wasn't paying attention to fully swiping across, but you can see the strength of it. So, since we took out the Royal Champ, we can use the Stone Slammer wherever we wanted. We could even switch it to a blimp, and the Stone Slammer went to the Eagle to help take it down. We're going now in for our final hit, and let's see what the type of value we can get. We're noticing that the Eagle with the Royal Champion is down south here. Sweeper's pointing this way, Sweeper's pointing this way. So, if we were to take out a section like this with including that sweeper we can then lalo our way across the base here to the town hall stone slammer could come up top here but remember there is the cc so we do have to deal with that i'm gonna try to take out the sweeper and the eagle and the royal champ let's see if we can grab that value <sighs> so let's go ahead and drop the king here so he goes around let's go and drop a minion here double archer tower let's start with a yeti up top for the archer for that one two three for you uh let's drop super wall break into here let's go ice golem queen okay super wall break open that royal champion in the corner all right so royal champ hopefully you can skip her onto there pop that king ability let's see queen where are you gonna go next okay we're gonna take out the arch tower oh my royal champ's going up and around I'm gonna make you invisible pop the ability here skips doesn't go to the single Ah! It doesn't even go to the sweeper or the eagle. Pop that queen ability. Um, let's drop you. So now we gotta drop a balloon here. What's the issue? Is that lousy sweeper. Lousy freaking sweeper. I'm gonna push our stone slammer back quite a bit. A lot. Um... Let's see. Take that down, then we'll start the Lalo. Boom. And let's drop the Hound. Alright, there we go. Let's drop a Hound here. Boom. It's going to cut across. Here. Boom. Boom. Grand Warden. And like this. So we're going to try to create that funnel. Drop some minions around. 
Go and get you down. Got a bunch of balloons. Let's go and drop it. Freeze out of the town hall. Let's go and rage this area. Freeze the town hall again. Warden ability over the town hall. So now we're going to pop right on top of the queen. Let's go and poison. Looks like that's good. So we're going to actually pop the stone slammer on purpose. Up some minions. So there was probably just like ice golems inside of there. Let's go and freeze the scatter. We got a ton of stuff left. Let's go and freeze the scatter again. Let's haste into here. Drop some minions up top. Oh, a bunch of red air bombs. What? Look at all these red... Oh, what are all these red air bombs? What are they all doing? 34 seconds. Oh no. King die. Drop some headhunters across. Drop a headhunter into here. There's the cannon. Where did all those red air bombs come from? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, guys. That goes down. But it's time. Time is the issue. The red air bombs saved the day for this base. What? Oh my goodness, it's a dime veil. Dang it. I think, right? There's no way I get this. Four, three, two, one. Wow. Well, even though it didn't go according to plan, we were able still to adjust on the fly. No CC came out, which might have been ice golems. Could have been a lava hound ice golem in there. Um, but even if one did, I would just poison, try to lightning it. Um, came close. Obviously, this last one wasn't the best, but you guys can see how it kind of works from the examples. Hopefully, this video did help you with the Sui Lala with the dragon portion of it. Don't worry, I will be bringing Town Hall 11, some attacks as well, breaking those down. But uh, these are two different attacks. Blizzard, which was the first one. You should definitely go check that out. Link will be down in the description. And then there's this one with the Stone Slammer, five balloons, and a dragon. But anyways, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you did, Make sure you guys go and hit the like button and subscribe down below for the daily content. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Carbon Fin, signing out. Peace.